And now, aviation weather around Alaska. For Monday morning, we've got uh, marginal VFR now right up into the Alaska range with some IFR, Prince William Sound down the south side of uh, Kenai Peninsula. Also along the North Gulf Coast here, kind of merging up over the Panhandle and a lot of IFR out here over the Bering Sea northward, but uh, St. Lawrence Island VFR and VFR for the North Slope with some lower conditions along the Arctic coast. For the afternoon, no change up there in the north with good VFR all the way down into Bristol Bay and less marginal VFR now along and south of the Alaska Range with uh, Prince William Sound marginal VFR as well as the North Gulf Coast and down across the Southeast Coast. IFR just south of St. Lawrence Island all the way down into the Aleutians and uh, pretty good though for Norton Sound in toward Kotzebue and the Noatak Valley VFR. And for Tuesday morning, looks like uh, marginal VFR pulling off the Western Arctic coast, but right along the east side there with uh, VFR again for the North Slope down until you get to the Alaska range there. Marginal VFR from there on down into Prince William Sound with IFR there over the Wrangell Mountains, Eastern Copper River Basin, right on down the Southeast coast. And uh, out over the Bering Sea, we've got uh, IFR right on up into St. Lawrence Island and down across Nunavak Island to the Aleutian chain. And for the afternoon, not much change there. A little more IFR up here in the north, all the way up now to Kivalina, Point Hope, and uh, Cape Lisbourne. Marginal VFR, central western Arctic coast, VFR to the east. VFR over interior Alaska, Cook Inlets, the Sitna Valley. Marginal VFR, possible lingering, possibly lingering there for the Manuska Valley and Southern Copper River Basin. Yakutat, some IFR around and uh, Kodiak Island, uh, marginal VFR mostly on the east side there and marginal for the Panhandle passes. And Atuvik and Attigan, another VFR day coming up on either approach for both passes for the Brooks Range and for Lake Clark and Merrill, marginal VFR. And rainy VFR, windy VFR back to marginal for Isabel and Mintasta as well as Tanita, all looking pretty marginal for the day Monday. Portage, marginal. Chilkoot and White, marginal VFR. And the freezing levels here, about 8,000 feet over the southeast coast, 10,000 feet in the central interior with 8,000 feet over the eastern Arctic coast there, 4,000 feet over the Alaska Peninsula, then much warmer conditions here with a broad area southwest flow, head of a frontal system pulling 14,000 feet almost up to Shimianatu. And for uh, icing, scattered areas of possible isolated moderate icing here, along, well actually over the upper Tanah Valley 40 mile country down into the eastern Alaska range and a lot more uh, spotty hit and miss type icing here south of the area across uh, the Kenai Peninsula. This area south of the Alaska Peninsula mostly staying to the south and from there looking at the uh, jet stream, main jet well to the south here, well south of the Alaska Peninsula and northerlies at about 75 to 100 knots there coming down over the Aleutians. And for 9,000 feet, uh, higher pressure farther out to the west, north, northwest winds up to 55 knots, light for the southeast coast and in over the interior. And for 3,000 feet, we've got uh, light east winds here, maybe up to 30 knots there across the Gulf of Alaska and a little bit stronger out to the west. Turbulence wise, uh, Nothing too significant, possibly a little bit there for the eastern Beaufort Sea coast and out here with increasing southwest winds at the surface there uh, could be light to isolated turbulence there for uh, the Shimiatu area, but staying mostly west of Kiska 